Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. Today we're talking about how to tie and fish the double jig rig. And what I mean by a jig, I'm talking about some crappie jigs. This, this kind right here today, uh, it could be any crappie jig. So if you want to try multiple colors and at one presentation, you can do that. That's one of the advantages. Uh, and I'll talk more about advantages here in a minute. But uh, the double jig rig, uh, I picked these two with uh, the white hair in particular at Walmart actually this morning uh, mainly because I was standing there talking to a gentleman and he said he's been having great luck with white hair jigs uh, for crappie and sand bass so that's what we're going after today but I'm going to show you guys how to tie it, tie it on right now first you just need one this is very similar to tying a drop shot rig you're just going to do a palomar knot with a longer tag in so let's go ahead and get started if you don't know how to tie a palomar knot um, i have a more detailed video on that so you just type in clearwater fishing palomar knot it's under my favorite fishing knots uh, playlist if you want to look at that too but overall you're just doing you're threading it through you're going to thread it back through i like to put my finger in the loop so it doesn't fall through I'm going to pull this nut this out to where I'm going to have roughly a foot to 18 inches extra tag in. So that's going to be close to 18 inches. So 18 inches total here. And then we're going to just do our overhand knot with uh, the both lines. Overhand knot. Make sure we put our bait through the loop. Otherwise the knot doesn't work. As we get it closer, get a little wet. Gonna pull that down tight. All right. So now we have our top jig tied on, and now we just need to tie on our bottom one. And if you did it right, you're gonna have plenty of excess to deal with. Uh, I, the bottom one, I typically just do a simple uh, improved clinch knot. If you don't know how to do that, I also have a video on that one as well. So just type in Clearwater Fishing, improve the clinch knot, and it'll take you right to it. Also under my favorite uh, knots, so you can check out that playlist as well on my channel. So in order to, and to save some tag in, so this is roughly, I'm going to call it 18 inches total. Yeah, it's roughly 18 inches. My foot is roughly a foot long, so... That's what I've been using the gauge most of the time. So simple, simple overhand knot. You get you get it to about where you want it as far as depth goes. Uh, something like that. And then we're gonna pinch it. Do mm, probably about eight twists here. Eight twists. Thread it through the bottom loop. Oops, kind of dropped it there. Thread it through the bottom loop. Then thread it through the loop you just made by threading it through the bottom loop. That's what makes it improved. Wet it and cinch it down. Then we're going to trim up our tag. Doesn't have to be crazy tight. There you go. And then here is our double jig rig. Pretty simple. Um, if you do it with just plain jig heads, you can change out the colors. You can experiment with colors to see what they're hidden on. I'm pretty confident this white and silver is going to do pretty good today. Now, let's just get to fishing. So there's several ways you can fish this double, rig, double jig rig. First is you can cast it. I like to tie mine to the spinning reel. makes it easier to cast. We're going to reel it in slow. Uh, you can do this against the bank. Yeah, you can do this in open water. Or you can do it just in general searching for brush piles. My favorite way is to use live imaging sonar, whether you use an active target, uh, live scope, or mega live, find brush piles and then fish the brush piles. So we're going to drop this guy right in this brush pile and see if we can catch one. Got some attention. Probably crappie, so I want to leave it still. 
Whoa, <laughs> got him out of the water. And just like that, we got us a crappie in the boat. Probably not a keeper. Oops. I don't know, he might be. He might be. Come on now, big guy. Nope, he's gonna be short. He's about a quarter inch short. He's close though. Closer than I can tell. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, or what I'm gonna be doing. Fishing this bank, looking for brush piles, using LifeScope, or if you have Mega360, uh, you can use that to find these brush piles as well. You can use side imaging, uh, find the brush piles, make waypoints, uh, use a buoy to you know, make sure you're close to them, and then just fish around them. Uh, I will say that using live imaging sonar is the easiest way uh, because you can put your jigs and stuff right up next to the brush pile where you're not going to get hung as much and pull those fish out. So let's go on and catch a few more. Hey guys, I want to pause the video right here for a second to ask you to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel uh, and so I can do more videos and how-tos like this for you guys, teach you guys more. So the more you subscribe, the more people this will get out to. Be sure you like the video if you learned something or enjoyed it as well. So hopefully you did that, but right now, let's get back to the video. Not one. I got me a largey. Oh, it came off. Got him. Little sand bass. There we go. There we go. That didn't take very long. Two fish already. One kind of got off. Not a big one, not a big sand bass. Got him. He got the top one. Another little one. Might be all that's in that one, in this brush pile. Oh, I got a bomb. Got him. I did get a bump. Oh, well, that's a nice one. Well, I'm glad uh, you know, this guy's not really fighting. Otherwise, I would have lost him already. That's a nice one. A nice little guy. See how long he is. 13. Let him go. That was just a pain in the booty. The net didn't want to cooperate. Well, that's a giant crappie. Come on in here, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's the actual target species. I gotta just throw it over there and he sucked it in. Oh. Nice little crappie. I'd say little, he's he's a pretty good mondo. He's got he's a twelve incher. Nice twelve inch crappie. Let him go. Alright guys, that's gonna about do it for today's video. Awesome day fishing, caught a bunch of sand bass, caught a few crappie. Uh, one actually really, really nice crappie and some really nice sand bass. Definitely would not be going hungry today. I didn't keep them. I still hadn't ate all the fish from my last meat haul. Uh, but it's a great way to get out here, have some fun. The water temp was 48 degrees. 
outside uh, today the high I think is 70 degrees so an awesome late fall day to be out fishing caught several fish had a great time and I hope you do as well but just like always until next time get out there and go catch you some fish